Our 2020 Year of Innovation continues in February where we've been trialling a new type of rubber curb as well as introducing a new module with Elgin that we've jointly developed which allows us to look at traffic congestion retrospectively. So here we are in Rittle, in between storms. Bye Dennis. And we're having a look today at some rubber curbs. This is one of the largest installations of rubber, rubber curbs made of recycled rubber, recycled lorry tyres mostly. And Essex Highways is trying the, trialling this in the use of bolt down curbs to replace some of the stick on curbs, the concrete curbs that we've been using for many years. So these fellows are made from high quality rubber when truck tyres are retreaded. They're made using a low carbon process. They're significantly less CO2 used in making these than there is in making concrete. These curbs are a little bit more expensive than a normal concrete curb, but cost should reduce if bulk, bulk production is uh, undertaken. The saving is in rapid installation. We'll show you some other examples of that in a minute. And their resistance to being dislodged so that we can save on repeat maintenance costs over many years. Here we are with one that we did a little bit earlier. Very little difference, but a nice new footway that they're doing, doing this at the same time as reinstating the footway. But there's very little difference between these rubber curbs and the concrete curbs that you see on the other side. So I'm here today to talk to you about a new innovation that we're trialling in Essex called uh, Traffic Replay, which we've been working with One Dot Network to develop this along with Hertfordshire. So what is Traffic Replay? Well, as the name suggests, it actually allows us to go back in time and look at how traffic has been reacting on our network in relation to different events. So a good example, we have an inquiry coming in from a member of the public um, complaining about the traffic delays on the network on one particular day. Uh, and their comment was this was due to a lot of roadworks and why are we allowing the roadworks to happen all at the same time. So what we were able to do was to go back in time and look at how the traffic built up over that day uh, and to see all the events and all the things that were happening on the network. And then to take a similar day previously uh, and look at that day. And what we actually found when we did that comparison was the normal traffic we expected, we saw normal delays building up on certain parts of the network. On the day that had been a complaint about, there'd actually been a fatal accident nearby that has closed the road for a, a long time. So that allowed us to very clearly say to the member of the public, this is how the delays built up, this is what was happening, and to look at whether it was to do with the roadworks or other circumstances. <laughs> 